How's it going guys, Declan Bricks here and in today's video we're going to be going to an exclusive press event for the new Lego shop opening in the Traffic Centre. I'm excited, so yes we get to have an exclusive look around the Traffic Centre the day before it opens because today is Wednesday and it opens tomorrow, Thursday. So yes I'm excited, hopefully we get some good stuff and let's just go have a look around, let's get going. I made it to the Traffic Centre, I'm scanning before the event, let's go. So here we are, here are your first glances into the new Lego shop at the Travel Centre. Looking really cool from the outside, it looks amazing. Am I excited to get in there? Oh yes I am, so let's get in there. Oh, exciting. Okay, so we have made it into the Lego store, the Lego shop, and oh my god, does it look amazing. So modern, so so modern. And wow, 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 wow. So I'm just gonna go and take this all in for a bit. Um, and then, yeah, I'll take you around for a little tour. Oh my goodness, am I excited for this? This is cool. Okay, so let's take you on around a tour of the new Lego store in the Trough Center, Manchester. So first up, we have got the exclusive um, you know, your creator experts, your ideas, all that sort of stuff. The non-themed ones um, on this wall here. And literally they have every single Lego set. And they have so many like, on display, like look at the Land over there. You got the uh, Tranquil Garden, El Dorado Fortress over there. And also the Hocus Pocus house as well on display over there. But then you just got loads of different stands. Like we've got this like um, the flower stand here. And it's looking absolutely fantastic. Again, on display, a lot of things on display, which is really good because people like seeing built. And that can also help out on the, um, what would you call it? Them buying it. Um, but yeah, again, Disney section kind of, like a mini Disney section um, with the up house on display, the camera, really cool. And like at the top, you've got the themes where it tells you Lego Classic, Lego Disney, Lego Disney 100 as well. So you've got like two separate things, Lego Friends over here as well and you've got some like buildable areas as well uh, which is really cool to um you know for kids to build and stuff again sets on display that is really cool the botanical garden wow that is really really awesome yeah so you've got just sets on display all the time you've got like the sonic section got the new sonic section where they're actually showcasing one of like sets where kids can whack it and it spins around and does its thing and then there you've got the Manchester B made out of Lego. That's really awesome. That is really, really awesome. Uh, so if we carry on around here. You also got the Sonic brick heads. So that's like a Sonic stand right there. And you got Lego Creator. So the Creator Free ones, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and and some of the Creator ones there. And then the City again sets on display on display. Really nice. You've literally got every single Lego set that they have as well in here. And it's not a massive space, you've got to remember, it's not a huge space. Again, more display. We've got the slush van, I already have that. <laughs> and the recycle van, that's really cool for a LEGO City. Um, then we've also got the new theme, LEGO Dreams. Really awesome. Again, sets on display. Really cool, so many sets on display. Whoever's building that is doing a really good job <laughs> at building them. LEGO Ninjago as well here. Not a massive Ninjago section, but you know. They have the massive uh, city markets there, which is really cool. And we've got some more Marvel stuff here, but the Marvel section isn't here, the Marvel section's over there. But we do have some more Marvel stuff here. And they also have the No Way Home Battle um, on display and the Quinjet on display. And then we have the main counter, looks really nice with the nice screens on the back. And they do have an exclusive Lego shop in the back over there and the Galileo as well. And again, more sets on display underneath. We like it, this is what we like, Technic. Technic, wow, they have a lot of Technic. I like the big Technic session, really cool. And they have this Audi uh, RSQ e-tron on display. And I really want that to be fair, but it's pricey because it has a motor inside. <laughs> but yeah, they have everything, even on the McLaren F1. Wow, this is looking awesome. Right, let's go over to this side. So obviously this is a queue uh, they're gonna have. There's lots of different cameras, lots of different people I met today, really nice. Uh, but we have some creator there as well um, and then we have the build your own minifigure stations 
which is obviously building your own minifigure. Uh, so that's cool. And they have some cool figures on there. Actually, I forgot to show you this over here. So they have this cat woman here. And I don't really know where she's from, to be honest. Maybe Lego Dreams? Or Lego Ninjago? Lego Ninjago. Dragon's Rising, there we go. But this at the back actually lights up. So I don't know one. There we go. Hey, look at that. That's so cool. That is sick. That is proper really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's really cool. So let's let's walk over here. Let's try and maneuver our way through here. And at the front of the shop, they have like this little Lego city with this big Lego brick made out of Lego, which is really, really cool. And they also have the boutique hotel on display. And guess what, people? The museum. The new museum come in 1st of December, the new modular. Wow, that looks absolutely amazing. Oh my God, it looks so much better in person, people. Wow, that looks fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's easier. Easily a first day purchase. And they have the Just Club next to it. So they have like a little mini Lego city going. And over here, they have the Concord out. Wow, the Concord is huge and it's such a good price. 170 pounds for that, it's massive. So yeah, they have this whole section for like Concord and the Tales of the Space Age as well down there. But they also have the massive Disney castle on display and it says adults welcome. That's what we're talking about. We love the adults, the adults are always welcome. But wow, that is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I've never seen it built in person and that is so, so much bigger. Oh my days, amazing. So yeah, they have that and then into the best section, of course, the Lego Star Wars section and then they have everything. They have the UCS Millennium Falcon, UCS Razor Press, UCS Venator, UCS 8080, literally everything. All of the UCSs, anything Star Wars related that you could ask for. <laughs> so good. I never these plushies. That's awesome. I like them too. So yeah, obviously we've got the build, your know, minifigures, you've got the pad wall. It's not as big as a pad wall as I wanted, but it'll do. It will do. It's still a good pad wall. Um, and then through here we have the Lego Marvel section with all the Lego Marvels in and obviously the two in display cases as well. Really cool. And Lego Minecraft and Super Mario as well over there. So they have the new Piranha Plant on display over here. This is one that I really want to get is the Piranha Plant. So yeah, I really do want to get that as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Lego shop showing off. Amazing. I think they've done an absolutely outstanding job on it. Also, I just thought I'd show you the back of the new modular building, the museum. Oh, it's so good. It looks so, so good. Am I excited for this? Wow. That has got to be one of the best modular buildings that they brought out yet. Other than the Avengers Tower that's coming out as well. <laughs> Look who they brought out. They brought out a Lego Brick Man and Lego Santa. Oh, yes. The party's starting beat. <laughs> Man, I cannot stop looking at this museum. I actually can't. It actually looks so good. They've done an absolutely fantastic job of it. I can't stop looking. I'm just, I always find myself coming back, back around. Uh, but Santa and the brick guy are back out. Even though they went back in. That's cool. I do like that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the tour of the new Lego shop. And let me tell you, I'm very happy about it. So yeah, I'm going to take you home now. I get a goodie bag. From there, so I'm going to show you what I get in the goodie bags. Let's go. Just before I leave, though, Santa's having a good dance. Look at him go. Oh, he's vibing. He's proper vibing then. <laughs> he's still going at it. He's still going at it. <laughs> well, let's go. So we're back, and this is the lovely, lovely bag that we got. We got it with the I Love the Lego store, and then we flip it. Got loads of Lego bricks on. So yeah, it's a nice, pretty, reusable bag. But should we see what's inside? Should we see what's inside? Oh, we got. Let's celebrate. And some of the opening offers that they have on, which is cool. And yeah, you get this bag for £50 purchase. So for free, happy days. But what's inside is even better. Sneak peek. So we got this for free as well. This, hold on, whatever it is. Santa's Grotto kind of thing. Like a gift with purchase. But we got that for free, which is awesome happy days and also this one i already have this i already have this but yeah like a little burger shop with a guy on his bike a delivery guy yeah it's like a drive-through how awesome 
is that. Oh, and also, I'd say we got this thing where it says, let me just, there we go. I love Lego Store Manchester. So happy days. Happy with that. So yeah, we've got a massive queue down there. And then it expands all the way back out to there. <laughs> so they're going to do the ribbon cutting and stuff. I might show that um, if I can see it, but yeah. They had the characters out coming, dancing around, but yeah. <laughs> Just thought I'd put this in. And the uh, Lego store is now officially open. And it's busy. There's a lot of people in the queue. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Very, very busy. Uh, but amazing. So, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. People are buying and buying and buying. Someone's got the UCS Venator. Look at that. He's buying. He's got the back box. Wow. We got people buying absolutely tons of stuff. People have been saving up. This guy's just grabbed the UCS Benetton like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Mate, Lego are gonna be making their money with this opening. Jeez, people are going for it. I mean, you do get a Lego store gift with purchase, but wow, everyone's going for it. Big style, big style. I'm not going it for that hard yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the double insider points for that, but wow, yeah, they're sending it. <laughs> I also thought, guys, as well, before we go, we'll see what I bought, hey? Should we, get, should we have a look at what I bought? Let's go. Okay, guys, so we was at the LEGO exclusive event yesterday, but I went again today uh, for the opening, and, yeah, we bought some good stuff. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, we bought the Lotus, um, what is it, Evija? Evija? <laughs> Speed Champions. Yep, so we bought that. So I got this car. Uh, and also another Speed Champions, the Speed Champions Mercedes AMG Project 1 and the F1 car as well. So that now completes my Speed Champions set. I've got all of the ones that you can buy right now. I don't have some of the retired ones, but yeah, I have all of the ones that you can buy right now. Uh, so we completed them. And I also bought the Piranha Plant. Oh yes, that looks amazing, doesn't it, the Piranha Plant? I really like it. So yes. So we spent, oh wait, I want one more thing. And this llama brick head um, from Minecraft, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, so that equaled up to over 125 pound, which then means we get some gift with purchases. Oh yeah, so we have the VIP add-on pack, the fun Christmas VIP add-on pack. Really nice, we got that. And then the main reason why I bought all that stuff is for the exclusive if we purchase Lego store, there you go, people. Exclusive for the opening of this Lego shop. Yes, whoa, look at that. So happy days. There you go, people. That's what we bought from the new Lego store. Oh yeah. So yes, I hope you did all enjoy this video exclusive stuff from the Lego store, you know, all fun and games. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and let me know if you're gonna be going to the Traffic Center for the new Lego shop. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.